Hey guys, today I want to tell you about this heavy duty commercial Pearl Gear TV stand. And this isn't just any TV stand. This is a commercial build, one that you'd find in a classroom, one that you'd find in an office space, uh, in a conference room. And uh, it is heavy duty. Let me just spin it around here and show you what it is that we're working with. I just put it together in about 30 minutes time. And I have to tell you, it was pretty easy to put together. There were a number of pieces. I will show you that entire process here uh, in just a second. But I wanted to just show you how this thing's constructed. First of all, this is a 65 inch television. It's a heavy television. And this thing is held up. I have every bit of confidence that it's going to preserve uh, my equipment. There are three points. It has a your normal TV stand, um, as you would find like on a wall mount clipped in here, as well as a center uh, that clips it in. So it's safe and secure. There's also a spot where you can put a padlock. So if this is in an office building moving around and you don't want your television removed or stolen, you can padlock it to the stand. Um, so again, you have these heavy duty columns, which can raise and lower um, at several different settings. There are pins here. Uh, you'll need two people when the TV's installed to raise or lower the pins, but uh, it can actually go a few clicks higher than this and actually go at least one click lower than this. So you can see this is a nice comfortable height here. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you is the wire holes here. So you can actually thread your wires, hide your wires uh, through here, down all the way to the base. And you don't have to worry about wires looking messy, hanging out or getting caught on things. Like if this is just laying around the office or the classroom, someone is going to trip on it. So it can be clean, tidy, and uh, really no fuss. It has these handles on here to make it easy to move. I remember when I was in uh, high school and elementary school, we had these big tube TV carts that were like tanks. Uh, this would be the modern day version of it. This thing's built to last for a long time. Um, the other thing I wanna point out, the heavy duty casters. All four casters have a heavy duty stopper brake on it, which I will take off so I can continue to roll it around. And the final thing I'd like to point out is uh, it has this media tray here that you can install. And this also is of an adjustable height, which is very nice. Um, if you're making a presentation, it may be nice to have your notes here if you're speaking as I am in front of the camera. Uh, very nice uh, if you have if you want to put a DVD player or a media player of some kind down here, whether it be a Roku, Apple TV, something like that. Uh, and you can get to it easily. And there's enough space to fit multiple items down there. Uh, great for power points. As you can see, very generous, 65 inches. I believe it can hold up to 75 or 85 inches of television uh, with room to spare. Again, this is a very heavy duty commercial. This isn't your average uh, living room TV stand. This is a commercial piece, very heavy duty great stand and I really am excited about having this and really excited about getting to work with so it. Here's the box that it comes in. Once we have unboxed it all, here are all of the parts. We have the instruction manual, the base, the two main legs. The directions say the only two tools you need are a screwdriver and a level. Okay. Step one is to put the brackets on the back of the television, like so you'll see the round holes go up and the slotted holes go down, and you're gonna place it just like this. Each TV is a little bit different, whether it's flat rounded or has sort of a step up like mine here. And that's what it looks like. Next, we're going to put the feet and casters on the base. These two come pre-installed but this one and this one need to get installed like so. We're gonna put a screw here and here and the caster will go there. So we have the two bolts installed and then we have these really heavy duty casters. And the thing I like is all four casters have their own brakes on them. So this was just as simple as twisting it on and there we go. 
And that completes step two. The next we'll, thing we'll do is set these at the desired height. I'm not quite sure what the desired height is yet, so we're just going to loosen this bolt right here slightly and then raise this up. We'll make them equal. Now we have to attach this connector uh, to the pole, and we do that by removing these and taking the cap off first. Okay, we've removed the two bolts. The next thing we want to do is take this piece and slide it into the rails. We'll then replace that piece and put the two bolts that we just removed back in the holes. And that is what each post looks like when they're fully prepared. In the next step, you are going to want to use the base and tip it on its side so that you can attach the rising columns that we just assembled here. And you are going to attach these bolts right here. Screw them in. This is probably a step better for multiple people. I'm a one-man show here, but I think two people is best here. And once we have those eight bolts screwed in and the two columns are secure, we're going to flip this up. And it's all starting to take shape. Next, we will install these handles in these two holes here. And when we're done, it'll look like that. Next, we're going to take the TV plate and we're going to hang it right there and center it. So we'll remove this bolt temporarily and then we'll flip this up and then we'll place the bolt back, which locks this into the channel here. And that is what it looks like when it's all tightened up and locked in the channel. Okay, and here is what it looks like. So we've lifted the television up on the stand and we have these hooks at the bottom that these are gonna lock it in, right? So the television bracket rests on the top of this rail on either side and then on the bottom, you have to remove this screw, which is, goes in here, and then we screw it back together to lock the television in right there. And we also do it on this side as well. And this is actually a great design here. Just this little screw locks the TV in from going anywhere. There's also a padlock they show that you can add here for security, which does not come with it, but I thought also a good idea. Next, we'll assemble the AV tray, and that will require removing four bolts here and four bolts here. There's a little plate on this side we're going to need to save, and we're going to connect this right here. Now we will prep the media table. And here's what it looks like when we install all the bolts. The shelf is now adjustable. If you loosen these one, two, three, four bolts, you can raise it up or down. Next, we will add another one of these plates and we're gonna do it the same way. Unscrew this, snap this down and then screw this back in. Just to make sure it stays in place as we tighten it, it'll become less mobile. Then what we're going to wanna do is take this piece, thread it up through here requires loosening the screws to thread it up and then we're going to center it down here. And we'll finish it up by moving this upward, attaching this shelf on top and tightening these and we are all done. Okay, now a few things I've noticed here. In the back, one thing you can do is hide your cords, stick them in here, thread them down, here, stick your finger in, grab it, and pull it out, All right? And you've hidden the cord. Probably should have started this on the inside, but you get the point. 
Okay, so here we are. You can see me in my reflection here, the television. And we have ourselves the shelf. And this plastic trim piece goes across the top. And I like how it has a ledge here to hold on whatever it is you have, whether it's a DVD player, cable box, uh, anything of that nature. Uh, I have to say, these casters are unbelievably heavy duty, as is the entire thing. It is really a commercial piece uh, that's really just built to last for years and years. And as we take a look from behind here, it's just so thoughtfully put together, well designed, and again, just a commercial heavy duty piece. Holds this um, 65 inch television. It's gliding around with one hand here, no problem. Really well built.